Well, welcome to this week's show for Drawn to Whitetails. I'm Drew Ramage. I've got uh, Ted here with me. And we're going to do a uh, cooking uh, show this week. We're going to do one of our favorite recipes for turkeys. And I'm going to let Ted take over most of this. But the main thought is we're going to do jalapeno with some cream cheese. And we're using turkey. And then we're going to wrap it in bacon and throw it on the grill. But you could also use duck. I mean, you can do well, goose. That's a great recipe for duck. Uh, of course, we're going to we'll marinate it in some Allegro. Uh, you can use Dales as well. Uh, I don't recommend Dales on wild game as much. Don't let it soak as long. It's fine. Yeah. Just don't let it soak as long. Uh, zesty Italian dressing works very well too. Mm -hmm. uh, those are those are probably my three picks of all. So, yeah, we're at one of our little. I guess it, it's his garage, but like kind of our camping thing. One of the places we hang out, hang out during hunting season. So. Uh, you can do this in your kitchen. You can do this about just wherever you want. But it's also good for dove. I mean, I love oh, this yeah. recipe with dove. Very good for dove. <laughs> yes, so, I forgot about that. I'm going to step out of this. And I'm going to let him show you how he prepares this. And then uh, at the end, we're going to be eating well. So, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. So he's going to go through each step, and then we'll uh, uh, kind of go from there. Well, first, I've already got the jalapenos quartered and gutted, or halved and gutted, rather. And I highly recommend latex gloves. If not, your hands will be on fire, and it's not fun. But once you cut those and gut them, I uh, take the turkey here, and a good fillet knife is one of my favorites, and cut it in just, uh, just some thin, more like a... I guess kind of like a fish fillet, what I like to say. Uh, don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too thin either. Of course, naturally, you want to get all the uh, gristle and all the fat off of it. And any of the tendons that are chewy, I try to get all those out of there the best I can. You're not always going to get all of it, but that's just part of it. Uh, once you get all your fat trimmed and all your tendons and stuff, ligaments off, I uh, put them in a baggie. If you got a big bowl, that'll work fine. Uh, and whichever your desire to marinate is. Today we're going to use Legro. It may be a splash of Dale's. Mix that up real good and we'll let that sit for 30 minutes or an hour or so. Maybe even a little longer. If you can give it a little longer, give it a little longer. And uh, while we're doing that, we'll finish prepping the rest of what we got here and uh, wait for our charcoal to finish up getting ready. While our meat's uh, soaking in the marinade, I'm gonna put our uh, ever so important latex gloves on here before we start handling these jalapenos. and. Uh, Get a spoon for the cream cheese and go ahead and stuff the jalapenos with the cream cheese and get them ready to wrap in the uh, turkey here in the, here directly. While I'm sitting here stuffing these jalapenos, I don't know if he mentioned it or not earlier, uh, as far as your recipe or your uh, ingredients that you need. Of course, naturally, you're gonna have to have a hopefully a wild turkey freshly killed. Uh, so uh, I prefer thick cut bacon. Um, then your Marinated choice, your Allegro, uh, Dale's, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, toothpicks and a little uh, garlic powder I put on there after after you marinate them. And uh, cream cheese naturally for your jalapeno. Uh, of course, you can, the list goes on and on, you can add to it and uh, just make it however you want, really. Just uh, I always experiment with different things. All right, we've. Uh, let her turkey meat soak here uh, about an hour and a half or so. And uh, we'll get her out of the marinade. We may even cut that dude right there in half. Take your jalapeno. And 
Roll it like that. Take our toothpick. And again, I'm wearing latex gloves. You'll just have to bear with me on that. I've, uh, I've had bad experiences in the past. So. Put that over on our cooking sheet. Generally, once I get them all prepped and on my platter, I'll take a little fine garlic powder, sprinkle over the top. Some may not like it. Everybody around my my parts likes it. We'll let that sit for a minute, and then we'll put it on the grill. Well, now we've got them prepped, a little garlic powder on them. We're gonna put them on the grill. I prefer charcoal. Uh, I, that's the majority of my cooking has been on charcoal, so that's what I. That's generally what I cook with. You can cook them on gas, whatever you prefer. It, it doesn't matter. How long do you cook them for? Usually I'll cook them till the, of course, depending on your heat, your fire and all that stuff. Yeah, I'll look at them after about five minutes, see how the bacon looks. Usually you can cook them off the bacon. If the bacon looks like it's done, more than likely the turkey's done. them on there for about what 10 12 minutes mm -hmm. 15 tops and see they're just good and brown all the way around of course if you, you cook thicker pieces uh however you cut it you know thicker piece you'll probably cook a little longer but whatever you do don't overcook it of course i'm sure you all know that's the killer to just about all wild game is overcooking it we're gonna get off here and give us a little bite and see how it is. All right, well that's uh, gonna conclude our little cooking show here. Ted did an excellent job with this uh, turkey that's on jalapenos, cream cheese, and wrapped in bacon. Like uh, uh, he had done some cooking for us before at another meeting that we had had, and he'd done some ribs, and he did an outstanding job. And so we've designated him as our as our chef here at Draw the Whitetails, or our caterer every time we're gonna have meetings. But we're going to partake of uh, some of this this grub and uh, just join us back again next week. We'll have something interesting for you, maybe a couple more turkey hunts. And then, again, we're going to be jumping into stay in placement, access, just different things you can be doing here in the spring to get yourself ready for the fall. So we thank you, and I thank Ted for, for cooking this up for us today. We surely appreciate it. You can't hunt. I guess you just need to learn how to cook. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> See how it is. Thank you.